Hi, so this video is going to cover how to connect letters. So if you have that handwritten script um, font type and you want to put the letters together instead of having them separated, um, this is going to show you what you want to do. This is how you're going to accomplish it. So I've got my Blake um, Cricut Design Space here pulled up and I'm going to go over here to text and it brings up the text box and then we're gonna just use the word welcome today. So I'm typing in welcome and I'm gonna use the font Magnolia um, Sky because that one just works really well for this type of a lesson. And let me make it up here a little bit bigger for you. The bigger, the better. It's easier to see, in my opinion, and then you can always shrink it back down. Okay, so we have welcome here. So what I'm trying to show you is how to get rid of these gaps in between each one of the letters and make it look like a cursive, um, all one word. So with that, when you do a word, it comes as a group. We want to ungroup these letters, okay? So I've got it highlighted. You'll see that it's darkened here, which means it's highlighted, and I'm going to hit the ungroup button. It's going to take it a moment, depending on how many letters you have in your word, to ungroup it. So now you'll see over here that you have got each letter listed separately. So they're each a separate file. Now we're going to start over here with the E. I like to use my arrow keys and then supplement with my mouse to move around as necessary. It kind of helps to keep um, it from moving up and down more. And it, to me, it's just a little bit easier. So I highlight the first letter I want to move. And I've got it highlighted here, and then I'm just going to arrow it over. So I'm going to use my left arrow and arrow it over. Now you'll see it's not quite touching yet, so we're going to arrow a little bit more. Now we're touching, however, I'm kind of picky here, and I don't like how this is kind of sticking out a little bit. And if I click on the letter and I arrow one more time, it looks nice. I think that's a nice, clean look. It looks natural. So we've got that one done. We're going to do the same thing with the L. So I'm going to take the L, click on it, and I'm going to left arrow it over and get it to connect. We're almost there, and we've got it. A nice, natural flow. I'm going to do the same thing with the C. Click on it. I'm going to arrow it over. Again, you can use your mouse if you want. Uh, either way works. And... I've got it touching, but I've got that little funky piece hanging out still. So we want to move it over just a little bit more. And I think that's almost a little bit more than I want. And so that's the problem sometimes when your arrow is it moves more than you can, um, than you do with your mouse. So if I arrow it back one, you'll see I've got that funky. And I think I just want to slightly move it. So I'm going to click it, hold down my mouse key, and then just slightly move it until it's gone. There we go. And now that's got a nice natural look to it. So I'm going to click the O again, and we're going to move that one over. Ooh. All right, let's see. Do I like it like that? Yes. All right. Again, a nice clean look. We've got the M. We're going to move it over. Keep going. It's kind of bouncing around a little bit today. Um, so I, I unclicked it so I can kind of have a better look. So it connects here. I'm going to see what it looks like if I move it over slightly bit more, if I like it better. Um, I think I actually like that look better than when it was over like this. So it's all personal preference. Um, but I definitely, for me, I think I like that better. Then the last letter, E, clicking on it and just arrowing it over. And the sign space looks like it's kind of bouncing around a little bit as I'm moving it. And we're almost there. Okay, so they're touching, but again, I have this funky little thing. I don't like that. We're going to move it a little bit more. And I think that's good. I think I like that flow. Okay, so we've got it all touching. We like the look of it. It looks nice and clean. What we want to do now is um, put it all back together. So. Click somewhere in the white space that's beyond the word that you want to use. So I'm going to come over here and click and drag. So I've been holding my mouse key down and dragging it over until I get the whole word welcome done. Okay. So you'll see all the letters are over here. Correct. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is you could group it if you want. You really don't need to because 
If you want it to cut as one big piece, you're going to need to weld it together. If you group it, it's still going to cut as separate letters. You've got to weld it to make it cut as one full word. So key is grouping, you're still going to have separate letters cut out even though they look like they're attached here. Welding, it's going to cut as one big word, okay? So we've got it all highlighted and we're going to hit weld. Now you'll see over here, my image has changed. So the image now looks like welcome. Now you know that you're gonna have one word cut instead of multiple, instead of each individual letter. And that is how you connect script letters together. Super simple, um, but I know this is a question that's asked a lot. Now from here, you can adjust the size, okay? So you can shrink it down, you can make it bigger, whatever you want. I like to play with it when it's larger because it's easier to see. When you start with a small word, even if you know you, you're gonna want it small, it makes it a lot harder to kind of see how things are placing together. So always start with it big and then shrink it down to what you want when you're done, okay? Um, hopefully that is helpful and um, you enjoyed that video and check out our others, thanks.